Hello everybody, Chancellor OMX here. We are back with Beavers franchise. Looking for a season sweep of the Cowboys. We're facing them for a second time in three weeks. And hopefully we can come out of this game four and one. That would be quite amazing. Again, we're in coach mode for this game is bearing with a huge gain right there. Second and seven for the Cowboys. They're gonna go back to Robinson who had a huge week the last time we played. In a losing effort, I might add, not to brag or anything. Tony Romo there, actually a lay, another good catch right there. And, and now it's the third and ten, eight minutes left in the first half, and that was not a good throw, so we'll take those in every day of the week. Josh Robbins now going to find Adrian for the backfield. We're hoping for Josh Robbins to maybe use his legs a little more today, as he didn't at all last week, as Marcus Coulson, great play right there. And a rough in the passer, and this was just a monster act. Get him out of the league. I can't believe he'd even think about putting a hand on him. It's Adrian Ford has space. Adrian Ford inside the 30. Let's go. Adrian Ford once again. All it took was for me not to control him before he started looking good. Third and six. Now we're going to go to the end zone here. Javon Baker. And what a throw. He did cross the goal line. Touchdown, Beaver. It is seven to nothing already. Love to see it. Tony Romo's going to go deep right here, and that is almost going to be caught, but it will not be, so three and out for the Cowboys. Adrian is going to break a tackle. Adrian is going to get to 40. What a good run right there. First and 10 now. Adrian Ford once again, another gain of eight. And now it's a third and two, and give it to Frank Gore, and our running game looks good this first quarter. Third and nine, though, Josh Robbins is going to fight Dante Stallworth, and, you know, he's a little short, especially when he's going to go backwards like that. Second quarter action, second and long. Billy Jones going to get a couple yards, bring it to a third and 11 for Tony Romo, and he's going to go deep right here. It's going to be picked off by Philip Buchanan. Let's go. He gets popped at the end. I think that's his first interception as a beaver. you love to see it. And this was kind of a dangerous throw to Marcus Colston, but it does get completed. Third and one, Adrian Ford's going to crush his way through. First down, Beavers. Another first down right here is Josh Robinson going to take it himself. And that was, he got crushed at the end, but a couple yards, I guess. Third and seven, Josh Robbins. That was a terrible throw. Should have been picked off. Luckily, it wasn't, so Sebastian Janikowski's kick is up and no good. Unbelievable. We expect you to not get the long ones, but come on, Julius Jones with a nasty spin move. Gonna get a good gain, second and seven now. Tony Romo's gonna go to Brown, and Brown break it to the tackle, and that is another first down for the Cowboys. Second and four now, six minutes left in the quarter. Tony Romo is all day, he's gonna find Corin Robinson, and the Cowboys are marching on this drive. First and ten now, Tony Romo, he's gonna go to Brown again on the backfield, another good gain right there. Second and three now. Gonna try and set up a screen pass, so they're gonna go to Lelay, and Lelay's gonna break tackles! You have gotta be kidding me, that should never be a touchdown, Beavers! Unreal. We are now tied up at seven right now on a third and three, as Josh Robbins is just, you know, throwing it where four Cowboys are isn't the best choice in the world, I wouldn't say, but that's just me. It's Corin Robinson, almost gonna get a first down right there. Third and two for Cowboys. Can we get a big stop? No, we cannot. As Julius Jones breaks stackles. Oh, man. I thought that might have been something more. Tony Romo going to go, and he's going to find Lelay, and that is another first down. Under a two-minute warning, another third down for the Cowboys. We need to get off the field, and we will not. Lelay did get popped right there, but not good enough. Third and six once again. Tony Romo. He's going to... This was a terrible throw. About time, Cowboys. They were going to sell for a field goal, and that kick will be up and good. 10-7, to 7, a minute left. Adrian Ford, he's going to go. He's going to have some space, actually. About 20 yards almost on that play. Third and 10. Now we're going to find Dante Solworth. He will be just short. But 14 seconds left. We go for it on fourth and inches, and we get it. 10 seconds left. We're just trying to get a field goal range. We're going to go deep here. Dante Solworth. We get lucky out of the deflection. Don't shank this one, Janikowski, and he will not, and we will be all tied up at 10 at halftime. Pretty insane little two-minute warning sequence right there. Third and five now for Josh Robbins, and that will be caught. Javon Baker, great catch on the sidelines on not very good throw. Adrian Ford's going to have some space. Another eight yards. He is just tearing it up.
I just had to say something. That play did not go well. Josh Robbins, that was a dangerous throw, but caught. He will be injured on that play, though. At least it was a good first down to Dante Stallworth as Peter Blair is going to go in the game. Going to find Javon Baker. Going to get us in a little better field position. The third and 12 now after a holding penalty, too, on the play before. Javon Baker is going to be way short. But we will be in field goal range, though, so Sebastian Janikowski's kick is up and barely good. Just skims the upright. Love to see it. Or crossbar, I should say. Tony Romo's going to go and find Hawkins, and that is a great gain right there. First and ten now. Tony Romo, and he's going to go and get picked off by Blake Horton. Let's go. His first interception as a Bieber as well. Oh, you love to see it as Josh Robbins. Just, that's just terrible. You had all day in the pocket. You have speed. Why don't you run it, Josh? I don't get what you're thinking is. Second and six now. Tony Romo going to go out of the pocket. He's going to go and find Hawkins. And that is another first time for Cowboys. Almost the end of the third quarter. Tony Romo again just going to dart it right to Corin Robinson. And we have no resistance right now. First and 20 though. We need a good stop. As Robinson's going to bring a tackle. And Robinson with a huge gain right there. Fourth quarter action this is third and seven. They're going to do a toss play, and that will not work out for you. They're just holding on that play anyway. So, Adrian Ford just continuing to get a couple yards every carry. Josh Robbins, he's going to go deeper. Javon Baker, and we get bailed out for throwing in a triple coverage. Love to see it. There's another play right here. You need to go to the outside, and that's a touchdown, Josh. Frank Gore with another couple yards, bringing it to a third and six, and we're going to not get it. But we're going to go for it. It's fourth and inches. Adrian Ford has been a hammer this game, and another first down for the Beavers. Let's go, and this is a dangerous throw again, but Adrian Ford will bail us out, bring it to a third and 12 on the next series of downs, and we're going to Frank Gore, and he is way short, but we are in field goal range again. Sebastian Janikowski, show us your leg. And that kick is up and barely good once again. It's now 16 to 10. So the Cowboys will need a touchdown. It's Hawkins with another good gain right there. First and 10 for Julius Jones. And he's going to get a couple more. Break to a second and three. Five minutes left in the game. We just need to stop him from scoring a touchdown. Preferably a field goal too. And they just keep getting first downs. But it's second and 20 right here for Tony Romo. He's going to go and find no one. That was a terrible throw. Third and 20, Tony Romo's going to go way underneath. This is going to be picked off by Joe Carpenter. He is an interception magnet. You love to see it. Adrian Ford up the middle, another good game. We're to a third and six. Josh Robbins, what can he do? He's going to go find Javon Baker, who's just barely going to get it. In two minutes to 40 seconds left. Frank Gore up the middle, good game right there. Right to a third and five for Josh Robbins. He's going to find Javon Baker. Another first down. And the Beavers are just trying to run some clock. As Adrian Ford's going to find some space. Adrian Ford almost a first down. Let's go. Derek Wimbush now. Derek Wimbush taking to the outside with a stiff arm. Touchdown, Beavers. It's 22 to 10. Trying to get another two. Well, that did not work out. So this game is all but over now, but a huge gain over Rashad Baker, a huge play right there, and a huge play right here to Corden Robinson on fourth down, so this game is not over. First and ten, Tony Romo's going to go deep here, and it's going to be caught by Berrien, who has big games against us all the time. Fourth and four, though, Tony Romo's going to find Hawkins, and it's another first down. We just cannot quite get off the field right now. 46 seconds left. They're going to the end zone and it's caught. Come on, Beavers. We need to get this onside kick, though, and it's still over. But we don't. What was that? Oh, my goodness. But a sack right here. Love to see it. I think that's Chike Yoka for Romo now. Bag of pocket. He's going to get sacked again by Bernard, and he will be injured on that play. 20 seconds left. They bring in the rookie, Peyton. By, they need to get a first down, and they will not get anything. And you love to see it. And this game is over. We win by 5, 22 to 17. Very dramatic game at the end of both halves, really. Josh Robbins had a good game, but he just is not running the ball. I don't know what's up with it. Or Adrian Ford had a great game today. Javon Baker with another good game today.
Kurt Colley had a lot of tackles and sacks for Chiki Okafor and Bernard, both on the final drive, so love to see it. Horton, Buchanan, and Carpenter all with interceptions. And next week, we will be going up against the Buccaneers in a huge game. If we get to 5-1, that would be amazing. I hope we can do it. Buccaneers look terrible in offense, but they do have Dominic McNabb now, who has caused trouble on the Eagles in the past. So hopefully we can get a win. Hopefully a game won in 34-31 in the Bucks' favor as it has the last two times. Hope to see you guys there, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.